Hello, my name is Dr. Sarah Jarvis and I'm a GP. And I'm delighted to be here today with Dr. Dermot Neely, who is a lipid specialist and a trustee of Heart UK. Really important because we're going to be talking about FH, or to give it its incredibly long medical term, familial hypercholesterolemia. Not surprising we use the short term, really. FH is very common. About one in 250 people has inherited hypercholesterolemia in the UK. So Dermot, let's talk about why FH is so important. Well, because uh, people with FH have double normal LDL from birth, um, they can get furring up with the arteries at a young age and kind of heart attacks before the age of 40, um, before the first cholesterol measurements are made. And the problem in FH is they have inherited a gene change from one of their parents. Uh, the gene change is in what we call the LDL receptor, which is the removal grabber for leftover cholesterol in the blood. You can actually inherit a faulty gene from both parents, and that's even worse news, isn't it? If you happen to be by chance uh, uh, affected on both sides of your family, you can have a more severe form of FH, which is called homozygous FH. Getting the diagnosis right is clearly key, but of course, getting the diagnosis right can't be done if you don't get tested. And over 90% of people, I think, are not being diagnosed. The key point is to recognise that those people who have a cholesterol, total cholesterol measurement of greater than 7.5 should then go on to have a fasting blood test to measure the LDL cholesterol. But I'd also be looking at for someone who'd had a heart attack running in his family under the age of 60. If uh, that family history of early heart attack is combined with this level of cholesterol you mentioned, we should immediately be thinking about FH, could it be FH? Once we've identified the, the, the gene change in the family, then it's very easy to test other family members to see if they're also affected. So if we actually get people identified and treated young enough, can we genuinely stop this in its tracks? We know that the deposits are in fact reversible. So if we return the cholesterol balance to normal, uh, previous deposits can start to melt away. But I also talk to my patients about a healthy heart, healthy Mm -hmm. diet, Mm -hmm. about regular exercise, and importantly, about keeping their weight to within healthy levels, because that can have a huge impact Mm -hmm. on your cholesterol. For all our FH patients, we recommend that they follow a heart-healthy diet. Obviously, I tell them to avoid smoking, uh, because smoking itself causes damage to the blood vessel linings. When my patients think of treatment with cholesterol, they only think of one thing, and Mm. that is statins. Mm. And that will be the first-line treatment Mm. for most people. Absolutely. We know that statins are safe. We know that they're effective. They are very good at slowing down cholesterol production. And those people who don't respond to the best available tablet treatments, we now have injectable therapies. And what about those people who've inherited the faulty gene from both parents? Up to now, the only uh, available treatment option was by filtering the blood through a machine um, to remove the LDL. More recently, there have been uh, developments in this area and there is now a tablet treatment that actually can slow down production of LDL. So, there you have it. A lot of food for thought. But if you do have any further questions or would like to know more, please don't forget you can ask your GP or your lipid specialist, or of course... Look around the Heart UK website, where there's much more useful information.